Hey everyone, it's Sinus. Welcome back to another tip video. In today's video, we have one tip for every defender in Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get this video to 500 likes and I hope you all learn and enjoy. Starting off with smoke, if you throw smoke canisters on top of a doorway or a wall, then it goes off towards you, but if you throw them on the ground, then it goes off towards the sky. So basically, it depends on what side the smoke canister is facing. Mute not only can deny hard breachers to open the wall, but also can deny almost every gadget in the game, such as Dukaibi calls or lion scans. Or on Oregon, you can put a mute jammer end of elbow, so if a blitz rush is coming, then you can jam the blitz shield from flashing you. Castle tip is that you can open a castle barricade if you punch it 9 times. So leaving one more punch to open it can be really good either for a fast rotate or just to surprise the enemy when they are close to it. Pulse scanner can detect attackers till 9 meters horizontally or vertically, so you don't have to always stay close to a heartbeat. That way it's harder to get killed by IQ. Moving on to Duck, if you overheal it takes 5 bullets to kill you from 10 meters, but with Rook it takes 4 bullets, and that's basically one extra bullet to take with any gun and any range. Well the best tip for Capcan is whenever you're placing your traps make sure you're placing them on the side that there's nothing to peek or check. That way attackers either don't check it or their side block the Capcan traps. Pachanka can be really good for area denial or just plant denial, and it only takes 3 to almost 4 seconds to kill a guy with the fire. Jaeger ADSS can take flashes or nades vertically if you open one tiny hole on the floor, so it can be really good to place them on common nade spots, and to be honest, nobody expects an ADS there. Bandit can place multiple charges on one wall, so in case Thatcher is not banned or Maverick gets one of your charges, he can still trick the ball. Frost is somehow like Capcan, so your traps don't have to be always on the windows. Staircases can be also a good spot because attackers usually look up to see if there's someone to shoot. Moving on to Volk, if you throw your camps in the light, it's less visible to attackers, but when you throw them in the dark, because of blue light, it's easier to see and shoot. The one and only tip for Cap is that you should go hide so either bad jackal players can't scan you, or when attackers save camp software, they think it's all clear and free until you hit them from the back. Echo players, when you get the chance to deny the plant, you want to count down 5 or 6 seconds and then do it. Since plant time is 7 seconds, you can waste more time or let your team retake by just echoing the enemy at the last second. Mirror windows don't have to be used for peeking all the time. You can trick the wall by placing down your window on the exact moment that it's getting opened. Or if you already have it placed, you can open it to impact tree or see for through it. Moving on to Legion, did you know that if you put Legion goo mines on the window, then attackers rappling will take it and they have to rappel down or rappel inside to take it out. My tip for Ella is that you can use them through the floor, so it doesn't have to be on the doorways. But if they are, then make sure to put them as high as possible so attackers cannot shoot them. Vigil's gadget can deny line scans, so if you have it on and start running, you won't get detected. But what you have to keep in mind is if you shoot, then your gadget will turn off. My extra tip that I didn't know myself is that if you put your camps high and look up with them, then it's almost impossible to punch them, unless you find the corner of the evil eye. Other than that, it would be really good if you place them on hatches and then open the hatch so they are forced to use their explosives. Alibi prismas don't have to be on the windows always, but if they are, make sure attackers cannot shoot it. But you can also place them on a common angle and pick through them, so attackers have no option but to shoot the prisma. Clash now has a super shorty so it would be deadly to get close to attackers and do the 180 turn on them with the shotgun. Kate best tip you can get is either place electro claws on the side or out of reach so Kali or Maverick can't get them. Or you can place them below or above so no matter what they do, they can't open the wall. Moving on to Muzzy, place your gadget a bit far from the door frame so Twitch drones can't zap them or normal drones can't jump high to avoid the pests. If you're playing Warden, then you can walk slowly and you'll be able to see anyone through the smoke. You don't have to stand still. Goyo tip that I didn't do before is that you can put canisters on important barricades. And no matter what they do, they have to get rid of it if they want to push from that side. You can also use them for roaming, which can slow down the push for 20 seconds. Vomitis can hold on to a quick nade or flash for 3 seconds. So sometimes you can use them close to you to pick the enemy that 3 seconds or just to make sure you're safe. Oryx's ability to rotate around faster than all the ops is unique, so playing him on maps like Coastline or Border, which there are lots of hatches, can be really scary for attackers. Melusi Banshee has to be placed on the ground or on a spot that even if attackers want to shoot it, they have to be exposed to other angles and look away. Just like here that Ash is exposed to 3 angles and he has to turn around. There is only one tip for Aruni, put the gate somewhere that you can activate it again safely, otherwise it's risky to expose yourself. You can also combo them with Muzzy, so if drones try to jump over the Muzzy Pest, they can't. 
You can pick up Thunderbird Kono stations and put them down again so it will recharge faster. Other than that, make sure to shoot them if you are using them for roaming and you can't hold the map control. Or use them as a bait and have a pre-play C4 next to them so you can blow up any attacker getting healed. Torn Razor Bloom shells are more effective if they get used together as a chain. That way the sound of all three shells confuse the attackers or leave no space for them to run. Or if it does, you know where to pick. And for the last defender Azami, make sure to take advantage of the area or angle you block. You can block a breach and pick the stairs or you can block a vertical hole to run away because it takes time to get rid of them as an attacker even with explosives. Also block drone holes and if they start punching it, you know what to do. That's it for this video, hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. If you did drop a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.